Hello Virgo and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Astro Tarot reading. I want to apologize that I was not able to do your Lionsgate Astro Tarot reading as I lost my voice halfway through doing the Astro Tarot reading for the signs. So I'm going to do a quick little energy read for that lion's gate energy that is carrying over into this Aquarius full moon. So Virgo, as always, this is a general tarot reading meant for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. So let's get into it. For your lion's gate energy, we have love. This is the golden path within. And this angel is reflecting upon the love that she shines and is reflected back to her. How do you love yourself? I know that this can re be reminding of Narcissus falling in love with his own reflection in the water. But this is an angel of love. And here we have the sunshine. We are receiving the new light downloads, the cosmic energy that is shining love into your life, new love. And how is that expanding in your life as well as in your heart chakra? Okay, and because the lion's gate energy is associated with the constellation of Leo, which is right here in the candle. And it's also associated with the Great Sphinx of ancient Egypt. So I chose from the Isis Oracle deck, and this is your picture, your artwork. And here we have Ancient Power Mysteries. The oracle guides you to honor the power of your voice, whether through spoken or sung words, or through what you write, speak about, or stand for symbolically. You have a potentially very powerful healing voice, and you are guided to recognize the responsibility that you have for what you proclaim through your voice. So in order to recognize the responsibility that you have for what you proclaim through your voice, you need to see what's reflected back to you. Okay, and then your magic making card is time to shine. Okay, and here we have this beautiful sun shining on you. And this creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. Okay, so shine your light, time to shine. This is the Leo Gate energy that is carrying over for this Aquarius full moon reading. So now, Virgo, let's get to your Aquarius full moon astro tarot reading. Okay, the beautiful thing about this full moon is that it's going to be a blue moon because the full moon that we had before the new moon in Leo a couple weeks ago was also in Aquarius. So this also put us back on track for the lunar cycle. So now our lunar cycle is back on track. We had the new moon in Leo, and now it's followed by the opposing sign of Leo, which is Aquarius. Now this energy is going to be quick and fast moving because the moon is going to move into Pisces about an hour after it opposes the sun because the sun is shining on the moon, making it bright and illuminate. And the sun 
is going to move into your sign, Virgo, at 5.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So adjust to your energy or to your time zone. And keep in mind, now that in the evening time, the sun is going to be in Virgo and the full moon is going to be in Pisces. And Pisces opposes Virgo. So this energy is beautiful. It's a continuation of the moon being back on track. So that's the shift into this higher future timeline. And there's going to be significant growth of individual energy and power. And this is about honoring yourself and trusting your true calling, much like that energy that is coming through from your Lion's Gate reading. So let's get into your full moon in Aquarius. This is going to be a mind, body, soul reading. So what energy is shifting for you and how is your personal power growing for Virgo? And we have dreams with number 26. This is nice with that full moon. And then for the body, we're going to shuffle the mudra cards. What physical act can you do to help align yourself with these new divine energies? And moon time is a great time for dreaming. And Pisces is also about dreaming. Okay, so your sh mudra card is 34, balance, the Samukha mudra. So we have, it assists in the unification, clarity, and equilibrium. And this is great since now our moon cycle is back on track. And the benefits of this is balancing right and left side of the body. It improves mental clarity, activates the pituitary gland, which is your third eye, and heightens awareness of all senses, activates self-healing ability, and builds concentration. And the element is space. This is great for this dream energy with your chakras. Okay, and the instructions is to join the tips of all fingers on each hand. Touch the two hands together at the fingertips. Hold the mudra slightly, slightly away from the body in front of the solar plexus center. Relax the elbows and shoulders downward. Lengthen the spine, and this will help you focus on all of your senses aligned for perfect clarity and balance. So you may be getting some powerful messages through your dreams, Virgo. Okay, now we're going to look at the soul cards. These cards do not have any messages with them. They are meant to intuitively uh, stimulate the meaning and how they mean for you. However, as the reading goes on and I intuitively connect the other cards with your cards, I will do that. So for Virgo, your soul card is, here is your artwork. Wow. Wow, look at these light downloads these cosmic light downloads that are expanding your mind, your consciousness. It goes so well with the dreams and balancing the left and right side of your body. Okay, now this card may have more meaning for you and that is for you, Virgo. So. Let's get into the tarot. 
and see what is there for Virgo. Let's go a little bit deeper into this reading. Okay, we start with the Four of Cups. You are releasing that which no longer serves you. And look, the cosmos are bringing you this beautiful healing cup. And this may be brought to you through your dreams, Virgo. The next we have the hermit balancing. This is going to be a private practice for you. And you are bringing light into your shadow and doing some shadow work and balancing some of that out. And these are the cups that you are leaving behind in the darkness and this new cup is coming to light for you. And this is a private sojourn for you. You're, this is part of your self healing and balancing. And then here we have the King of Cups balancing your emotional bodies letting that energy flow through, cleansing yourself of what no longer serves you, and making room and space for this new energy coming to you. And the King of Cups is the master of the cups. So think of that in association with this card, because we have this blue energy that could be water, it could be air, um, wh however you perceive that. Okay, next we have the Knight of Swords. Now this is fast moving energy. This is an instigator of change of the mental mind. This could be opening you up for that gift of dreams. And this cup could very well contain great inspiration that is going to bring you great clarity because the Knight of Swords is clearing away all obstacles that are blocking you from your goal. You now see what you need to do. And next we have the Three of Swords. You are clearing that away. The Hermit is gaining deeper understanding, the lessons of this pain, so that you can finally let it go. And look at here, releasing the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords that have caused you pain, and here's the healing cup for you, Virgo. And it's going to be brought to you quickly. And this could very well be a change of heart, clearing out those situations or people that have caused you pain. Okay, beautiful. The Ace of Cups here with the King of Cups and with the Four of Cups. This is your healing cup that's coming to you. This is that cup. That's beautiful. And this I see as great healing for the emotional, but you're also setting it right in your mind. You're recognizing so that you don't repeat those patterns. This night is breaking those old patterns and allowing a new path to flow for you, Virgo. Next we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, this is about daydreams. Here we have the dreams. You are going to be dreaming of what it is that you want to do, what feels right, what resonates with you, Virgo. And here we have the tower. This is breaking down the walls, the barriers, anything that has blocked you. This heartache, you're done with it, Virgo. And with this Knight of Swords, 
this is just a confirmation of you clearing away. And not only because you are putting forth the effort into clearing it away, you are getting this divine boost, these light downloads that are going to help you clear those old patterns out of your life. You're done repeating them. You've learned your lessons, Virgo. Look, oh, beautiful, the star, your wishes. Where do you want to proceed now? And this goes very beautiful with this card. Because these are about your daydreams, your dreams. These are the stars that guide you through the night. So the star also speaks of checking in with your natal chart. What is being triggered in your natal chart? Perhaps you are experiencing a Saturn return in Aquarius in your natal chart. Perhaps you have your moon in Aquarius because the star is also ruled by Aquarius. So what is it asking you to renew and rejuvenate? All right, this is so beautiful, Virgo. All right, let's get into some moon energies. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Now remember, in your Lion's Gate card in the Isis Oracle, it's right here, the power of voice. Gemini rules that voice. It rules the communication. You have something to say, Virgo. Or perhaps... Remember, this is a balancing, this is balancing left and right side of the body. And Gemini is also that duality. And so we have this balancing of communication. What is it that you wish to communicate? What do you have to say, Virgo? And now let's look into the magical. Ooh. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Okay, you get two, Virgo. Abundance. Goddess of abundance, divine. Let me thrive. Let fortune be mine. This is that star. Because the star is also about wishes and hopes and dreams coming true. Okay, and then you have a oh, Virgo. Those Virgos who are looking for love, true love, come to me. True love shall come to me, as I do will, so mote it be. You are done with this. And look, you have the King of Cups with, and you're offering your love. The universe is offering you its love in return. However that may be for you, Virgo, there it is. Abundance of love goes to you. I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that it gave you confirmations for what is going on with you or affirmations that you're on the right track. So until next time, take care, Virgo.